Hey guys, welcome back. So, in my last tutorial, we went over the object of moving our player. So, let me just go ahead and hit start here. We set a spawn point, and then we can also move our player left and right. So, what if we want to wear, say we go off the screen, let's look at our player inspector here, and when I move, you'll see that my negative, my x position changes from between um, negative and positive. So, let's say I go all the way over past the edge, how would I make it do this? To where I can wrap. If I go all the way to the left, I appear at the right. All the way to the right, I appear at the left. How do you think I did that? This is called wrapping. Uh, it's the term wrapping, so I'm, the player is wrapping this. If I go all the way to the right, I go to the left. I appear at the left. Go all the way to the left, appear at the right. So let's talk about how we can do this and how and what we want to use to make us do this. So if you notice, just by looking that our x position is changing constantly, but our y and our z position aren't. So let's go ahead and open up Mono Develop and figure out how this works. So as you can see, um, I've gone ahead and already deleted the code, so you can't get a cheat sheet on how to do this. So we're going to work on it from scratch. So let's first go ahead and write out what we want to do. I'm just going to go ahead and just Command Z here for a reference. Alright, this is exactly what we want to do right here. Okay, this is going to type this out, guys. Alright, I'm gonna, you know, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna read it to you, but type this out. So what do we want to do? Make the player wrap. If the player is at x equals seven or negative seven, which is the position, then it should appear at x equals seven. Uh, and vice versa. If the player object is positioned at x equals seven, then the game object will be positioned at x equals negative seven. Okay, so let's try and write this out. Now, it might be different on you. So for me, let me see what it is for me. Um, I am at, let's see, go over just a little bit. Okay. So if I go all the way over to negative 9.7, so you know what, we're just going to go ahead and make that negative 10. If I go to negative 10, I will appear. So uh, I already have it set up. So if, if, uh, if my character goes to negative 10, it's going to appear at positive 10. If I go to positive 10, it appears at negative 10. So how do we make that work? So let's go up in here. So based off of what we read, we know that if the player object is positioned at x equals 10, then the game object will be positioned at x equals negative 10. I'm just going to change that 10. So based off of reading this, we know we're going to need an if statement because we want if the game object. So let's just try and write it out. We already read out, we, we've written what we want to do. Let's just try and write our code based on what we just read out, uh, written out. So what you would do is let's go ahead and read it. If the player object, so we know the player object is a transform. If the player object is positioned, I'm sorry, let's start with an if statement, guys. Get your if statement ready. If, here's your if statement. So if the player object, okay, so transform, or my transform for my sake, if my transform dot position, right, if object is positioned at x equals negative 10, so how do we get the position of x? What you would do is you would do my position, and then you would just type dot x. And if you want the y position, you just type dot y and dot z. Basically what that says is whatever position it's currently at in the game, that's the position it's going to take. So we want our if my if the game object is positioned at x and it's greater than or equal to 10, then we come down here and we want it to be positioned at negative 10. So what do we want to do? So we want the game object, which is my transform, and we want it to be positioned. So we want a new game object and we want it to be positioned and we need it to be in a new a position at a new area. So we want a new position for it. So if we're at negative, if we're at 10 for x, we need a new position of negative 10. And as we talked about in the first video, a position is just a vector. So what we'll do is make a new vector 3. So my transform.position equals vector 3. And then open that. And then you would say uh, negative 10 for x. And then you would do my transform.position. Okay, this is saying that the current position dot y, because it's not going to change, so it's just going to say current position of y, and then we want to do again the current position of z. Okay, so we have that. 
So let's go ahead and just save that. Go ahead and run it. And you'll notice something here. Oh, what's happened? My transformed opposition equals vector 3, negative 10. Oh, whoops, we forgot position. My transform dot position dot z. Sorry about that. And there's still something else here. Give me just a second. If game object dot position dot x is greater than or equal to 10, my transform dot position equals. Oh, whoops. We need to declare a new position, guys. Sorry about that. New vector 3. Okay, new vector 3. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And that should take away our error. There you go. See that? So let's go ahead and try it. And as you'll notice, when we go all the way to the right up to 10, my player will lap. But you'll notice that if I go to negative 10, I'm sorry, if you go towards uh, just 10, I believe. So if we go all the way to the left and we're at negative 10, nothing happens. But if we go all the way over to positive 10, it takes me to negative 10. So we have it going one way, but we need to go the other way. So let's go ahead and look at the player script. And if we have my x is greater than or equal to 10, and then the new vector is negative 10, how do you think you can make it to where it's going to be the opposite? Basically, you're just going to change it around. So you have two options. You can do, an, you can do another if statement, or you can do an else if statement. Um, it's really up to you. It doesn't matter. But I'll just show you how to start it. So you would do else if. OK? And then in here goes your code. So. Uh, in here would go your game object dot position is greater than or equal to negative 10 and then in here it would be your new position your new vector 3 is going to be 10 so go ahead and attempt that yourself and we'll go ahead and continue from there alright so that's going to be your challenge for this video is you want to make it wrap so go ahead and make it wrap both ways and then we'll continue in the next video